five is who we're fo focusing on as far as times. But believe me, Florida out in lane seven, they are going to be in this thing. Six of the top ten times in the country, including first, tied for third, fifth, and sixth best times in the country in the 4x400 are in this race. Which, think about what you just said. <laughs> I don't remember. It is, it is so stacked. And this stadium just erupted with the with the sh shot of that gun. Ross from Kentucky looks like she has got the lead out coming into this first home turn. Remember, they stay in their lanes all the way. Even though Tennessee is up ahead, it looks like Kentucky will hand off first. Watch for the exchanges. That's what will tell you who's in the lead. Jasmine Camacho Quinn is running the second leg for Kentucky and is screaming, bring me the stick. LSU. Passes first, followed by Florida, then Kentucky. They stay in their lanes around this first curve, and then they will break for that inside rail. Remember, it's Florida a half point ahead of LSU. If LSU finishes ahead of Florida, LSU wins it. Sharika Barnett for Florida. And bet she knows exactly where they are at. Mike Holloway is a professor at this event. So now three teams have separated themselves pretty definitively. Sharika Barnett for Florida. Now here comes Jasmine Camacho Quinn for Kentucky. LSU fading. Jasmine Camacho Quinn is handing off to Sydney McLaughlin. Kentucky is not one of the teams that's in contention. Oh, and a muffed pass between Camacho Quinn and McLaughlin, which gives just more of a lead to Florida. Camacho Quinn unofficially 50.4 on her leg, but if you muff the pass, you negate part of that incredible run. So it is Florida followed by Kentucky, then LSU, Tennessee. Remember, Kentucky is not in contention for the team title. If they win this race, it's 10 points, but it does not put them in contention. Sydney McLaughlin, who ran 52.75 for 400-meter hurdles earlier. That's a collegiate record. It's the number one time in the world this year. She's run 50.07 flat 400 in a rainstorm. And off of that muff pass from Jasmine Camacho Quinn, she just put her team in the lead. So Kentucky leading, which does not bother Florida except for pride. So long as the Gators stay away ahead of the Tigers from LSU, they will win the team title on the women's side. Sydney McLaughlin split 50.4, just the same as Jasmine Camacho Quinn, and that pass was not clean. It's a big gap to be made up LSU to Florida, probably a 12-meter lead. And as long as Kentucky continues to grind away at the front, it gives Florida something to shoot at. Kentucky, Florida, LSU. Kentucky's gonna win the race, and because Florida finishes ahead of LSU, they are gonna be the women's team titleist in the SEC. K.L. Clark split 50.6. Huge splits for these four by fours. Kentucky 325.99. So they just increased their number one time of the year. They already had the number one time at 326.92. They shaved nearly a full second off of their time in the 4x400, but Florida gets to celebrate the team title because they finished ahead of LSU, finishing second with also a very fine time.